This is the Bossa Nova. So today we're talking about the Bossa Nova. This is a great groove. It's originally a Brazilian groove. Um, it is used in Latin jazz like crazy. It's even made its way into pop music. Um, it's a great tune originally from like the Rio de Janeiro region, kind of a variation on samba. Um, and it's just basically this really chill groove, um, but it's got a lot of stuff going on. Some people say it's the easiest Latin groove. I would probably say the cha-cha is the easiest Latin groove, um, but we're gonna break this thing down for you. Um, and kind of dig into what it is. If you like these videos, please uh, like, subscribe. Uh, so anyways, let's dig into this thing. Um, oh, also, this is played by people like, um, you'll hear it in tunes, uh, like Girl From Ipanema, Stan Getz, uh, Blue Bossa, right? There's just a ton of tunes that this is used in. So anyways, let's break this thing down. So the first thing you want is you want to, one, get the hi-hat, right, or ride cymbal going. I'll show you how to play both it where it's just three part, which is hi-hat, snare, and bass. And then I'll also show you how to play it with the ride, uh, snare, uh, basically the four part. So the three part version is this. We'll break that one down. And then the four part version adds a hi-hat on the two and four. And I'll show you both of those. So let's break the first one down. So first thing we need is we need that hi-hat going just one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, right? The next thing I'm gonna show you is actually the bass drum part. So the bass drum part is just going one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Now if I put that with the hi-hat one, two, I'll slow it down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and the idea is that's just going to keep this group but if you think about a samba right a samba is uh this group right you got that bass drum going kind of fast right that move doom to doom so that's still there it's just a lot slower so we're just playing boom 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 one and two and three and four and one now the part that's a little tricky and that's the clave now there's a, two ways that this can be played right one is like kind of the three two style which is right here but it's a brazilian version the other version is what i'm going to show you which is actually the snare start or the click starting on two which is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so let's break that down first with the first measure which is one, two, three, and, right? Let's play that one, so we got one, two, three, and go. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, and go. Again, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, right? Now, if I put that with a hi-hat, we got one, two, three, and four. Again, two, ready, go, and one, two, three, and four, right? The second measure is pretty standard clave. It's just one and two and three and four. Again, one and two and three and four. Play that with me, one, two, ready, and one and two and three and four. Again, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four. On the snare with the cross stick, ready, and one and two and three and four. And real quick on the cross stick, I'm just holding the stick like this, very kind of gently. I put the bead about an inch from the edge, and then when I cross over, I'm coming down to get that nice tight cross stick sound. If you're too close to the edge, it doesn't sound very good. You actually lose the tone of the drum, and if you're too close to the center, it's really low. So you wanna be right about here to simulate a clave. So anyways, let's put that whole clave together. So it goes like this. It's one, two, three, and four. One and two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three and four. One and two and three and four. Now we have the eighth notes in the hi hat. One and two and clave go. And one, two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And one, two, three and four. One and two and three and four. And one, two, three and four. 
one and two and three and four and one. Now, what we got to do is we got to put three, these three parts together, right? So the way I do it, there's a couple ways to do this. One is to first get that bass drum and hi-hat going. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Now what I do is I add just the first beat, which you could probably do because if you play rock music, it's the same thing. And then I was just going one, two, three, right? And then keep that eighth note going. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Now I add the uh, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and. You'll notice that that second one's one, two, and three, and. Happens right off the bass. Listen to it again. Ready, go. One, two, and three, and. Uh, again, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, and. Right, and then you bring the bass drum in again. So one, two, and three, and four, and one. Right? One, two, and three, and four, and one. So let's put that together with the eighth notes. One, and two, and ready, go. And one, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, again, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, again, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Now let's do that second measure, which is just, again, get that bass drum going. We're just playing a click on one, which is one, two, and three, four, and one. Two, uh, again, uh, the first click, one, two, and three, four, and one. Now we're going to put it on the upbeat, which is actually going to be the second bass drum. It's one, two, and three. Let's do it again. One, two, and three. Two together, and one, two, and three, four, and here we go. Ready and one, two and ah, I messed it up. Two. Ready, go. One, two and three, four and one, two and the two clicks. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three. And the last one is that last beat happens on four. So we got one and two and three and four. So it's one, two and three, four and one, two. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one. Now let's add the hi hat. One, two, ready. With the bass drum, one, two, and three, four, and one. Two, slow it down, ready, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one. Two, last time, and one, two, and three, four, and one. All right? Let's try this. I'm going to play it with just. Well, first we're going to do a hi-hat and snare, then we'll do a bass and snare, and then we'll put all three together. So just hi-hat and snare. Here we go. Slow. One, two, ready, go. And whole thing. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Again, one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three. And one. Now let's do just the bass drum. So get that that rhythm going. And boom, boom, boom. Remember that's a key, right? Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one. Now let's add it all together. Get the bass and the hi hat going. Make sure that's solidified. One, two, and three, four. Here we go. Two at the snare. is the clave now what i want to do is show you one more variation and that is where you actually add the high end on two and four so you're just going in the feet now instead of just going boom 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 you're adding the high end on two and four one two and three four and one two and then you have the right some one two and three and four and one then you have the clave And I'll play it one more time just for fun, a little bit closer to tempo, right? We'll kick it off. Here we go. One, two. Ah, let's try it again. Two, three.
Bossa Nova.